Hi everyone, it's Athena. Welcome back. It's Friday, May 8th, 2020. It seems like it's just running. Every day is Friday, right? Anyway, let's see what the universe has to give us a message for the collective. Okay. I send blessings to you all. I also want to just mention again, if you are not getting my notifications, please unsubscribe and resubscribe again. A lot of the readers are having the same, we're all having the same issue on YouTube for whatever reason. You know, they go by the algorithms. Who knows what they're doing, but it's, you know, whatever it is, uh, just let it be known if, if you need to unsubscribe, then resubscribe and make sure you hit the bell for notifications. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see. May 8th. 2020 even though time time really isn't is not necessary but let's see what's happening well we have the messenger we have the knight in shining armor we have someone coming in very quickly to deliver this message right from higher ground right this i mean they're in the clouds you know right? This horse is charging with the knight in the clouds. And the sword, I don't know why, but the sword looks like a rocket. I never noticed that before. Okay. Blue ribbon, something about blue ribbon, maybe a horse getting a blue ribbon. I don't know, Kentucky Derby. Why am I thinking that right now? I have no idea. I'm thinking of a blue ribbon, the horse with a blue ribbon. Freedom, freedom reigns, okay? So there's a lot in this card today, a lot. The horse has angelic wings, right? It is in the clouds. It's flying in the clouds, for sure. So freedom reigns, for sure, okay? So we're looking back. We're looking back at a message. So this could have been a message that already came because this is how it looks on my board. The horse is charging toward the past, right? So there was a message that was delivered and is like, now this warrior is sitting on the steps saying, yeah, you know, you delivered the message. Um, it probably was not a message that you really kind of wanted to hear because it's gotten you you're you're like protected you're you are protected whatever message it is you sat down and said all right i'm done right not in a not in a giving up way in a in a way that okay now now it's complete now the message has been received the, you know, freedom reigns, whatever the message was or is that's coming in or has just come in and is moving out is, is allowing someone to feel kind of defeated, but not yet in, not in a way that they're protected. I mean, they are protected, but they're not armored. You know what I'm saying? He took his armor off. So he's, he's kind of like, okay, got it we're done kind of that's the message right we'll see the queen of wands leo aries sagittarius comes in and says okay I, she this this is a successful courageous feminine energy that is all about success and ambition and creativity right so there was a message that came in maybe an air sign maybe 
maybe someone was waiting for a message, right? Waiting and like just waiting and waiting and there no message came because the horse is facing back to the past. So maybe the message, what's in the message is that there was no message. There was no communication. Therefore, this queen of wands is sitting on the steps, right? Whatever, masculine, feminine makes no difference. It's the energy whereby sitting there waiting is not going to do you any good, right? When there's no message, that is the message, right? No communication, that breathes a message. We know that, right? When in doubt, you do nothing. So that's the message. No one is holding on to, you know, holding on any longer. Letting go. Freedom reigns. Seriously, freedom reigns. Letting go and allowing whatever, you know, whatever to come in is going to come in, right? Look. The growth, someone matured from letting go. That's what it is. Someone has grown. Look, someone has, someone has also could be selling a home. I said that the other day, but I'm seeing it again. But if not, it's Leo Aries Sag who has let go and allowed and accepted that, right? Whatever did not come in, whatever has not been communicated They've released it and allowed it and accepted. And when you accept it and you let go, this is what you get. You get abundance. You get growth. You get obvious healing within yourself, the home. You get peace and the wisdom, of course, of the owl that sits in the tree up here. Okay? But this is all about letting nature take its course. Letting, allowing whatever to happen to just happen without trying to manipulate it okay so it becomes abundantly wise so so this queen of wands becomes wise and knowledgeable and mature because this feminine energy has accepted and released see this is a release this is a letting go Release, letting go, saying, okay, I'm looking back. There's no message coming in, so I got the message. So there is no action, therefore, there's no reaction. And once there's an acceptance of something that you, you, you allow and you accept in your life, or you allow and release in your life, that's when the wisdom comes in, right? Even if there's a little worry, even if there's a little worry about it, you still can't control it. Look at this, the full moon, the yin and the yang, right? The, ex the things that we don't know, the things that are hidden. So there's something that will be, let's see what this is. This is interesting. I, I first see two opposites for sure, right? The yin and the yang. The instinctual nature of things, right? The natural order of instinct and courage. These are my instinct and courage archetypes of the wolf and the bear. And nature, Mother Earth, going with the flow at a time where the full moon is in Scorpio, which we talked about being certain things being unknown, certain things that need to be released, things that intu intuitively you know need to happen, but they are taking a natural court. It's like nature's taking over because you've released and accepted it. So there may be for sure some things that is still not, you are not informed about, right? You're not informed. Someone did not, maybe someone didn't deliver a message. Someone is not communicating a message. And the message could be this. 
whatever it is that's unknown. So there's still parts of the story that are unknown, right? Not knowing if your ships are coming in, not knowing what the message is. Is it coming? Still waiting. See, look at this. This is interesting. Look. So this guy, you see, this guy is looking at the messenger, right? Looking back. Yeah. And then you have, which is interesting, the same depiction of the same color cards, right? Look. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right? Same color cards, identical, with the same, not the same guy, but right, same guy looking, waiting for their ship to come in and not knowing if it's coming. So still waiting. So someone is still waiting. Seriously. Here we released it. Here we released it. Here we allowed and, you know, we allowed and gained wisdom from it. And then it shows up again in another form. So that may be the reason for the yin and yang. It may come in a form that you're not expecting, right? You may be expecting something, but you don't know what it is. You're thinking it's a message because these two are identical. So this is the messenger, the communication, the Knight of Swords communicating some truth, right? But it may not come in the form of that. It may come in the form of a message of someone coming to visit, literally. Or, or you know, it shouldn't be unexpected because these days it's not probably not a good deal for someone to just show up at your doorstep, especially with what's going on. So we would hope that whatever the message is, it is it is truly also again coming from the universe. This is this is the boat coming in from the heavens, right? So it's not it's not gonna look like what you thought, for sure. It's going to be something so it could be completely totally unexpected what you thought you were going to be receiving as a message, whatever it turns out to be. It's gonna be completely unexpected. You're not going to, um, I don't know, it could be a letter. It could be in a, the form of a letter. It could be in the form of, I don't know, I just heard poetry. I don't know, someone might be writing poetry. Someone obviously got out of their ego, right? Their ego, maybe that was the problem. Not the problem. Someone was fearful of coming forward. Someone doesn't feel like, you know, they have this anxiety, fear of maybe rejection, fear of, again, fear of where we're going, where we're headed. It could be fear of how things are going to turn out. But basically, this is this is all the ego and releasing of the, the instability, insecure. There's no insecurity here. It's gone. Why? Because, look, it, hap it, it is now complete. The insecurity of not having enough, not being enough is, is not an issue. This Queen of Wands feels real confident right now, right? Aries Leo Sag feels comfortable maybe looking ahead into the future this doesn't look like it's right now it looks like this is right now we've we were in a place of of anxiety but maybe this is how it turned out the message because this is how it would be depicting the storyline through the cards on the table from where we came. So we came from the first card being the most important. That message is someone dropped their ego. Got it? Someone dropped their ego. Let's see. Look, let's look again here. See that? Someone someone got out of a toxic situation and that's that's what happened. Someone got out of toxicity in order to be happy. All right? Happiness is getting out of fear base mentality or materialism or whatever ego egoic thing codependency 
obsessive thinking, right? Obsessive thinking, that's gone. So they got out of this and now that was the message that was prior to coming in. Okay, now I, you know, that was not easy to do. To get out of jail, I mean, that's not easy to do, right? To be happy. It, it takes a lot of courage. And this Queen of Wands has the courage. To get out of a toxic situation takes a lot, a lot. So someone, you know, said, I finally released whatever toxicity, right? Whatever was toxic, I released. I'm happy, I've matured, I've grown because I released and I accepted that I no longer wanna be, you know, I don't, I don't wanna be in this jail. I don't wanna be imprisoned. I wanna be free. Freedom reigns, you guys, exactly. Look, that's what we talked about. The first, first thing, freedom reigns for sure, right? So someone got out of jail, so to speak, not well, it could be literal, although I feel it's out of a toxic relationship or marriage, obviously. And then now they're like, okay, so now what's coming? What is going to come to me? Because now, here, this was this was this was hard, this was very difficult. This took a long time, up to nine months, to orchestrate, right. And now we're looking at, okay, now where do I go from here, right? The unknown, full moon in Scorpio. Don't forget, things that are hidden will be coming out. This could be someone not even, I mean, someone's obviously enlightened to knowing it, but not seeing it. Kind of a hidden knowledge. Let's, let's take one more card on that. I I'm very curious. Actually, you know what? Wait, I'm going to use my John Holland deck and let's get one card to just say where are we headed for the three of wands and the moon, okay? The three of wands and the moon. Where is this? Where? What is this guy waiting for? After coming out of a toxic situation, relationship, toxic friends, toxic anything, egoic thought processes, right? Anxiety, depression, instability. It's all the ego. All right. So let's see the moon and the three of wands. Where is, what is this guy waiting for? <laughs> to write a new page in the journal. It's turning the page. It's a nine card. Again, nine. Very significant. Also something with September. It could be an anniversary of September being an anniversary. It could be closing the chapter finally after almost, you know, it'll, it would be a year in this coming September if that's the case. It could be nine months of going through this transition of freeing oneself. I mean, even up to nine years, I will say that. Because you know what? If this is a divorce, it takes a while. It, okay? Nine is significant. I don't, it's an, it's also, we're almost there. We're almost completely done. Let's see. See, here's the obsessive thinking. So for sure, if you are, you've already received You've already gotten out of jail, whoever this is for. That was what they had to release and accept. Whatever is almost completely done. It could be the divorce is finally, you know, right? Paper, the paperwork has finally been done. A new chapter is going to be completed, opening up of a new chapter after obsessively thinking, or maybe this is, this is what this guy's doing. Obsessively thinking over now what, right? I have no, this is the most important card right here is the moon, for sure. Because the ending is here. It's almost here, it's a nine. 
When it's finally complete, it becomes the 10, right? So this depicts the masculine and feminine, masculine and feminine, closing the book, closing the chapter of your life, for sure. Letting go, releasing, accepting, which we said here, right? But now, and obsessively thinking about how it's going to go down. But now with the moon card, let me take just, I'm going a little longer. It's the weekend. Let's just do it. What is the moon? I'm going to take these two right here. Look at, see someone? Yeah, I love it. Someone came out of the shadow, which is this. They had to face their toxic shadow. Their, their shadow, it's the ego, right? You had to embrace the dark shadow. It's not bad, but... That's how you got matured. That's how you leveled up. That's how you got spirit. Spirit was helping you get through this so that you could like finally get through and be enlightened. So this is what's happening here for someone. Someone is coming out of the dark and into enlightenment, being enlightened to the fact that freedom reigns, really and truly, freedom reigns. Okay? I love it. That's a really great thing. This is not this is not an easy thing to get through. But once you conquer it, you conquer that shadow, you conquer the dark night of the soul, right? You become enlightened to what? A higher awareness. That's what mature means. A mature person levels up because they have gained wisdom to what they were doing in their life that was not benefiting them. Yeah? So when you face your shadow side, right? The yin and the yang, we said, this is what we faced. We had to face this in order to level up and start, which is going to be happening soon because we have two nines here, three nines, right? So we're almost there. Closing the chapter on your life, a cycle completely. And I mean, that's so apropos for this full moon in Scorp. Commander Ashtar, call to action, which is exactly what has taken place for the majority, for the collective. Whatever it is that you was binding you, holding you down, even if it's just your mind, it, you have been released because you went through, you went through a lot. This is not, this is not a joke. This is a warrior that has fought the good fight and it's not been easy. The card, the card doesn't even really do it justice when you go through the dark night of the soul. Let me tell you, take charge, lead by example and walk your talk. Well, that's exactly what this person is doing. This person is now leveling up to the, I, this, this queen of wands has leveled up and faced her dark side, her shadow side. And in, by embracing and accepting it and understanding that you can't control mother nature, you can't control mother nature. You allow mother nature to guide you, spiritually guiding you in order for you to, to, understand how you work you know your light and dark we all have it you can't you, when you're in the dark you see the moon it's illuminated so you get illuminated by the and with the help of the angelic realm to go through this dark night of the soul to release yourself and walk a new path have a great weekend and be safe.